guys what's up welcome back to positive vibrations with your girl Trisel. today we're going to be talking about a series of things but the headline um is about feelings okay a lot of time we tend to ignore how people feel we tend to invalidate other people's feelings and we're going to talk a little bit about that today excuse the noise in the background that is my fan okay and um in last week's video i did say i did you did see me like on the road by hair and stuff this is the outcome of the hair i am very pleased <laughs> and i do see where i can like you know i think i did it a little bit too loose as you can see it's like so when it's getting old it might look a little bit mud <laughs> So what I'm going to have to do is redo some of them or when I take it out and I'm going to do it again. I'll just wrap them a little bit tighter and when it's getting older then it will look better. Okay. Our feelings are the very core of who we are and if we ignore those feelings, if we push those feelings aside, what are we telling our inner self? How are we going to express ourselves so um it is good to express our feelings and i am very expressive i wear my emotions on my shoulder and a lot of us don't do that and that is completely okay that is fine to do if that is not how you express your feelings show your emotions that is all right know that that is all right but what i want to talk about is us invalidating um other i was gonna say our feelings but other people's feelings you cannot decide that a person cannot feel the way they are feeling and you do not get to decide how a person should feel based on something you have said you do not get to decide if something will hurt someone's feelings or not and a lot of times we like to call other people fragile and we like to say oh everything bothers you but that that's them and that is also something that individually every person should understand or need to understand that the way you feel or the way you adjust or take certain things is not the way another person will so you have to understand invalidating a person's feelings it it can cause the biggest rift in a relationship friendship any form of relationship and you might not understand why but that's because you disregarded that that person's feelings about what you said or what you did you dis you disregarded the importance of how it of your action and how it made them feel so a lot of times we're in relationships a lot of times we have friends and we see those end and we're saying to ourselves it wasn't that serious or for example um, my high school best friend or relationship ended and till this day I have no idea why um, we have spoken after a while and she doesn't know why either and i think it's just that we were young not using that as an excuse but we were young and we might have said stuff something might have happened and we both disregarded how we had felt in the moment or maybe i disregarded how she felt because i didn't understand at that time or she didn't understand how i felt about the situation at that time but um, for so long and for some time, I think we might have blamed we might have blamed each other, or I know I blamed her. But it's like I grew into myself, and I realized that feelings feelings can give you so many mixed signals, <laughs> mixed emotions. You can miss misread, you can misread feelings in it, but it's their feelings are the easiest things to to not understand to get wrong you it is so easy to get the somebody else feelings wrong 
you know what i'm saying so i think it is important when something is bothering you um make that room understand let another person understand that it is okay this is a safe space to come and talk to me about how you're feeling and i think this is especially important for parents your child your children should feel safe coming to you and talking to you about stuff um i remember when at one point i was scared to go to my mom and say hey mom this that and the third as caribbean parents i think or as a, a caribbean child it is hard to talk to your parents about certain things but as i became older it was so easy and i realized the caribbean parent perception that i had of my mom as such a strict parent um it really was not that i re i realized that i could talk to my mom about the things that i was feeling not that we always agreed but it came to a point where if I, ha I remember one time I was so uncomfortable with something and I used to express myself as, um, self as a teenager through letters and I wrote my mom a letter and the reaction was terrible it was a very bad reaction and it took me like I was okay with the reaction because I didn't really understand at the time but it followed me until like two years later and I said to my mom mommy I did not like the way you reacted um the reaction that i got and then she spoke to me and she said you know in that moment she didn't realize how she was reacting either but then we had this long conversation and i got to understand that there were certain things as a parent you could not have told your child or she couldn't tell me those things in that moment that she was experiencing or she was feeling and then I came with my burden that was some part of what she was feeling and experiencing and I just dropped that on her so she didn't know what to do um, in that scenario so I understood her part and you know she apologized and I got to realize sometimes people are going through some things and it's not necessarily that they aren't trying to be there for you and understand your feelings but it's just that they cannot they can't not not necessarily concentrate but they don't know how to digest everything at once so it is the same when you are trying to if you're if you think someone is disregarding your feelings i'm not saying you should disregard other people's feelings but if you are about to remember that that person might be going through something as well as you are so we should vice versa give the things that we want to get so don't disregard people's feelings if you don't want your feelings to be disregarded but i have a zoom meeting in a few minutes and i will be back with the rest of this video and we will go in depth and talk about um family members and you know we have a lot of rifts in households when it comes to teenagers parents um not being able to talk to each other and stuff like that so we're gonna be go in that a little bit and i'll let you guys know what it is that i think and how feelings come into that all right so before we talk about parents and um invalidating children's feelings work i want to touch on partners being in an intimate relationship and your partner invalidating your feelings or you invalidating your partner's feelings no you would have to acknowledge that you are doing it and that comes with first of all identifying how do you know that you are invalidating a person's feelings and for you to acknowledge that you are doing so and you know take that step into not doing that so the first thing you would have to do and i always talk about this creating a safe space a space of comfort for your partner so they feel comfortable in saying to you listen i did not like the way how i said this to you and um your rebuttal or whatever was oh 
you're just doing this because that and that when in fact my feelings were true and that hurt me so first you'd have to create that safe space for them to come and be able to sit down and talk to you and after you have created that safe space you want to ensure after your partner say that to you that you acknowledge it you do not um say to them I can't deal with you, you know every single time you have a problem with everything that I say and stuff like that you want to make them feel comfortable at all times sometimes we have problems with acknowledging that we are wrong and we need to figure out how to deal with that because it does not help us nor our partners in relationships so please do not hit a person when they are down okay so go ahead in that safe space let them know you know apologize i am sorry that i said this and i said that let's figure out how to move on together so acknowledge what you are doing by creating the space and apologizing and then you move forward together and moving forward means that you will try your best not to respond to your partner's feelings when they express themselves you will not respond in a negative light in a negative manner all right so now we're going to talk about um parents invalidating their children's feelings no there is something called emotional invalidating emotional invalidation now parents may think that they are helping their children um when they say some things but to be honest a lot of things stay with children until they're older and they pass it on to their children and then their children to their grandchildren and then we can say these things are generational curses when in fact there are some things that my parents should have done and then i became a parent and there are things that i should have done to um stop these things from moving forward so this is why i want to talk about emotional invalidation invalidation because this is a major thing in households since forever now an example would be i as a parent and i have a little johnny and johnny come to me one day and he says mommy i was playing and they hit me with the ball and i don't want to play with them anymore me invalidating johnny's feelings would be you're a boy and you need to tough it up you need to suck it up you need to get over it that's in a negative light what i should say is johnny i am very sorry that happened to you do you want me to go talk to the other kids or how may i help you to solve this problem because a lot of times as i'm not a parent but a lot i i have a parent i have parents okay and i have siblings and i see things and i hear things i have and a lot of times we forget that children are little human beings it's like we think that they are they are ours to do whatever we want to do with them no you can ask them how are you feeling what's going on express yourself to me so in, when something happened instead of saying to them you'll be all right it's okay you should ask them are you okay what would you like me to do how may i help you with this do not invalidate their feelings they are very precious beings one day they're going to be me they're going to be you and we want them to we want them to shine bright we want them to be nobody's going to be perfect but we want them to be next to perfect to run this world we want great presidents great mayors great everything great lawyers great entrepreneurs so we have to nurture these children in the right way and feelings are a major part of who we are as i said before and they help are you listening our feelings determine what we do on a day-to-day -day basis if we're going to act crazy if we're not going to act crazy if we're going to be stressed if we're not going to be stressed and this is why our mental health is so important okay so 
parents and partners adults children adults to children do not invalidate each other's feelings these are things we need to work on and you as a parent can also teach your children your child if you have more than one child in the home teach them how to not invalidate their siblings feelings and you can teach your child how not to invalidate their friends feelings their classmates and so on and so forth so, thank you. so whenever you see this video in the morning the afternoon evening or night thank you so much for watching and have a good one